Hello again. You're probably wondering how I got here. How I have seemingly flying monkeys, a submarine on land, and six lives on hard difficulty. That last question is quite easy to answer. I'm really bad at balloons. But for the first two questions, for that, you need to see my two hour journey up until this point, wherein both Chad and I may have gone insane. Oh, by the way, I changed it so it changes every five rounds, else it was super buggy and 50% of the gameplay was just loading screens. Anyway, on to the gameplay. Attempt 1. I started off on Monkey Metals on Hard, one of the easiest maps on the easiest of the harder difficulties in the game. Yes, in fact, oh wait, one round went by and I didn't switch maps? Wait a second. That, that's weird. I thought it was supposed to switch maps. I, 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 I like my balloons where, where it just switches maps every single game. There we go. Look at that. Are the monkeys replaced at the location, or they sell and you can place no towers? Nope, they're just placed at the same location. So it's every five rounds instead of one. Should make it considerably less intrusive. Albeit more detrimental when it's gonna give me ravine, flooded valley, bloody puddles. Ouch. It's gonna be thousands of times more detrimental. So monkeys can spawn on the tracks. Yes, sir! Yeah, that is a very interesting part of this challenge. Or, you could just get fucked like this. Actually, never mind, they could still hit things. Barely, barely, barely. Oh, never mind, they can't, they can't, they can't. Mortar and Ace are my two least favorite military monkeys. All the other ones, I pretty much like. <laughs> Look at this. Ace would just be doo, flying around, doing Ace stuff, probably missing every shot. It was all good, aside from a few mistakes, like me forgetting lead balloons existed, and some bad luck like getting cargo and another brick very early on. But outside of that, it was fine, until I got cargo again. But considering my setup, I knew I was fine. And car okay, so never mind, I guess they don't get deleted. Oh shit, Sada, 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 Sada. Wait, why? Why? Why isn't it giving the camo buff? Shit, no, 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 no. No, 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 no! Or not. What happened? Well, the keen-eyed of you might notice that village is a little too far from my heli pilot. Just barely out of range, in fact. Just enough to not be able to give it the camo detection I so clearly needed. That was all for attempt one. But I'm sure I won't make a stupid mistake next time, and this challenge will be over easily. Attempt 2, another standard start. Although, this time, I decided to play on Impoppable rather than Hard because regular Hard was a bit too easy for someone with my skill level in the game. Or, so oh, that's what I thought. First kill by me. First kill by you, indeed! Rough. Rough start! But it's okay. It's okay. So we're gonna get back in it. Hmm. Oh, shit, wait, I should place a sniper up here. Just place a ton of snipers up here. Fuck! I only got to place two down! Now, you might notice the snipers I placed on top of the tree stump on tree stump. Well, in regular play, snipers are good for the global ring. But one huge weakness is that they're completely shut down by obstacles. But what if your sniper could fly? What if they could shoot over any obstacles, no matter where they were? Well, for a challenge like this, where bad luck can completely end your game, they'd be a prime target for the strongest tower. And it just so happens that when you switch maps, towers keep their original height. Meaning, if you place a tower on something high, like a tree stump, and you switch maps, there's a good chance they'll never be blocked by anything. It would be funny if they're not changed to ravine and everything was blocked by line of sight. Yeah, that would... Actually, it wouldn't be funny. Because <laughs> then I would lose. <laughs> if you have a ton of 005 snipers, which path is better? In your opinion, 205 or 025? I'm pretty sure for, like, bosses, 205 is better. But for, like... For, like, general, 025 is better because it's, like, better at just general clearing. The sniper has carried me through various maps without difficulty until round 36. And the balloon gods decided to give me Ravine. Oh shit. 
one of the hardest maps in the game, even among all the other expert maps. But that wasn't all. What's worse than getting one of the most difficult maps in the game? Getting one of the most difficult maps in the game and your snipers being blocked from 85% of the map. It turns out these bridges and trees, they're fairly tall. So tall that even snipers floating on invisible tree stump couldn't shoot past them. But I had an ace up my sleeve. My new favorite early game tower, the Druid. Popular for its insane crowd clearing abilities for a super low price tag. Ravine had nothing on it. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> What's my favorite? Let's get a camo. Ah. Well, I mean, the shrapnel shot is mostly what you're wanting there. Oh. <laughs> round 35. <laughs> oh, and I'm on here till round 40. <laughs> Wait a sec. <laughs> I have a big brain idea. Watch this. I forgot I'm on impossible. <laughs> oh. Or so I thought. You see, on a poppable, you only have one life. Meaning, if any balloons make it to the end, you're done. Game over, and I died immediately. Attempt three. Second map was quarry. I need to save the free dart minky for a pivotal moment. For a pivotal moment. See, this is fine. This is fine. Saldo's right next to the track. Rounds 11 to 15. All good. Balloon solver. Oh shit. 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 This big brain time by Markiplier. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It didn't last long. On to a top four. Stream bed. Cover garden. Stream bed again. Then quiet street. All very easy maps. I was getting lucky for the first time in this challenge. Luck being a skill actively. Helicopter? Yeah, heli is also good. All all the all the all the military towers are just really good for this challenge. Like, all the military towers are just goaded for this challenge. Okay, semi-automatic. Should be good for crowd control. Then round 28 happened. And I'll just let that play. Alright, also I'm just getting really oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Please, Sada, 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 ability, 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 please, please, please. Dude, dude, not like this, not like this, not like this, not like this, please. No! Yeah, I forgot LEDs existed again. Attempt 5, chat coerced me into switching to Adora, but by the third map, I had a strong druid and placed a door down, so it was all fine. Wondering what the fuck I'm doing. You know? Please, please, please. Sada! 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 <laughs> Just kidding. Also, I freaked out and thought Adora was Sada. I don't know why. Attempt 6. At this point, I didn't care, so I just started on the map I lost on. Sort of like a personal redemption. Bad. God damn. Let me see Steven! Bro, my favorite hero in the entire game, Steven. And Dory, I am stretching right now. When Dory doesn't... <laughs> Man, when Dory doesn't carry, screaming Sada. <laughs> you think you have schizophrenia or how you spell it? <laughs> yeah. And on the second map, I got cargo again. This is the map I've gotten the most by far. But I can sell the druid, get a glue gunner and a Dora, so it was fine. I have enough to buy a heli pilot. You know what? Sell. Fuck it, I'm just gonna get a Dora. I I yoinked your code and then I made it so it changes the the round every five uh, rounds instead of it changes them up every five rounds instead of every round so it's less annoying you ever go why it doesn't load nope i did not <laughs> yeah, terrible day. sun is bad sun is bad did you know that like sun gross i don't want any of that <laughs> i was gonna be fine the challenge is totally fine I'm back! just kidding i lost again this map is the bane of my existence but you know what? It's time to take revenge on Cargo. For attempt 7, I decided to start on Cargo. Comedic if you got Ravine again. Yeah, it wouldn't be, but... <laughs> hey guys, I think we're losing men. I like men's losing his mind. <laughs> oh, I don't make a new account because I got logged out. <laughs> hey, hold on. That's a vibe. 
That's actually a vibe. Holy shit. That actually happened to me the other day. <laughs> He's perfectly fine. Well, you know, on the border of losing it. Are you okay? Barely. Barely. But it's okay. I'm just going to drink some water and think about how this challenge isn't going to take me one hour. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. And I got ouch on the first map switch. No! Really? <laughs> Why? Really? <laughs> it is probably one of the most difficult maps in the game, if not the most difficult map in the game. And are you really going to make me say it? I placed down Adora and... Okay. Okay, here's my thought process, all right? Sell Druid. Cairo, stop stealing my dog. You're okay. This is still winnable. It is still winnable. I think I sell Druid here. Sell Druid here. I either buy a heli, or I buy an Adora. Covers all four lanes. I think it's big brain. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> I'm going to get another dart. And then another dart. Yeah, it was a loss. This time, I decided maybe I'd be the bigger person and not re get revenge on the map. Also, because it was a one-way road to me losing on the first map, so back to Monkey Meadows for attempt 8. And it was all going perfectly. First map switch, I got moon landing, but selling my druid allowed me to get a heli pilot, allowing me to pop balloons wherever on the map. Moon challenge heli useful? Then seek a therapist. <laughs> balloons is my therapist. Just sent to the fucking moon, right? <laughs> Dies to leads. That's in nine rounds. I'm good. How about a sus resource pack for Minecraft? For example, diamond or half red and half blue with glasses. Called diamonds. What? Balance and Lotus Island went down without a single problem. Then I got cargo. Again. I think I'm good. I don't... Fuck this map! Okay, when... what? Please, please, Heli. Get there, quickly. He's about to mentally insane. About to. About to? Or DM. Okay, what is the what is the next round that uh what is the next round the camels are set on? What what is the next round the camels are set on? Please, please, there we go. Okay, I'm good for the leads. Thirty three. Okay. Stop. Please, alchemist. Okay. I <laughs> think the alchemist is in range of that. <laughs> Thirty three. Okay, I can get I can get radar scanner in time. Calculated alchemist. Acid mixture ship getting on there, and also able to pop them. But history will not and did not repeat itself. I had taken down cargo, and soon I will take down the challenge. Cracked? Easy. Then, onto one of the most important maps of this challenge. This is because at round 40, the first mob would be sent. And it wouldn't be up until round 50 till the next one. Making round 40 the most important round for about the next 15 rounds. And it was Spice Islands. It would be an easy map for my heli pilot. But... Before I show you what happened, let me tell you about channel points. Channel points are a currency you earn while watching streamers. They're individual to each streamer, and they allow you to redeem rewards like hydrate, stretch, playing sounds, and just about anything the streamer allows you to redeem. And I decided it would be funny to make unique channel point rewards to each and every game I play. And in balloons, this meant you could send leads, purples, bosses, bads, teleport monkeys randomly, and most importantly, send the next four rounds immediately. And, well, chat being who they are had redeemed send the next four rounds immediately and this is what happened open <laughs> not the worst map you could get it's not the worst map you could get <laughs> get a sub all right i'll get a fucking sub or at least two three guys it's probably a Oh shit, the rounds? Okay, do I... Okay, I should send the... Yeah. I'll get a sub later. <laughs> there. There's your rounds. And I'm gonna lose anyway. I don't... Yeah, I don't have enough popping power. And you wonder why I didn't want to turn on the channel points. 
This was the closest I'd gotten to beating the challenge since my first attempt. And eight attempts later, here we are. Now, at this point, it had been about an hour, and I wasn't even halfway done the challenge in any of my attempts. So, I'll be honest, I moved back down to hard. I started off with my usual druid strat. High finance, a bit difficult, but I was fine. I was able to put down an Adora and a Dart Monkey. No, don't! Don't call me a meth teacher! Don't call me a meth teacher! Don't! Don't call me that! That's not normal! <laughs> Oh, what is happening? I, I, I'm losing my mind. Chad is losing their mind with me. I swear to God. <laughs> Mathing, Englishing, taught, house, math. That is good at math. Mender, math teacher. This brought me to middle of the road, where, oddly enough, the druid ended up in a bar. Very cool. Thanks, game. Next was stream bed, winter park, and cargo, because why not? Thankfully, this proved to be no trouble, especially because instead of one life I had on Impoppable, I had 100 in addition to my 25 extra life for my mana shield. <laughs> Monkey. Oh, shit. Other than that, I don't remember. <laughs> Cracked one by without issue, then came Dark Castle. Another one of those maps that, while it wasn't exactly the hardest of the expert maps, compared to what I was getting prior, it wasn't going to be easy. I upgraded my Alchemist and hoped for the best. It could be worse. It could be worse. That's sort of what I'm... Sort of what I'm thinking is, it could be worse... Yeah, a door. That was close. Okay. Zerkabrew, Zerkabrew. Okay. The map. Popping off. Pop off. Please, please, please. A door, a door. Please, please. Okay. Here, you need micro. Is it? Oh, yeah. It is pretty shit. I mean, I'm doing fine, though. Look at that. Nah, skill! Ace? No, fuck the ace. Please. Not hashtag ouch, yeah. Okay, two more rounds, then the Moab. I don't remember if next round is bad or not, but I do have Adora's ability. Okay. Hashtag ace equals win. Doubt? Issue? Big issue. What's your silly blue state first name, your favorite candy, mid name prince? But the thing that makes it even worse is because this was the map I would get to round 40 on. Meaning, I have to take out a Moab. And honestly, I didn't think I was ready for it. But I just ran it and prayed. I I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna get Razor Rotors if I'm being honest. Let's go! <laughs> that was very close, but I passed with only 47 lives lost, which is probably the best I could hope for. And this brings us back to Monkey Meadows, which should be and was a snooze, and back to the moon. But here on the moon, one of my chat members thought it was very funny to redeem a spawn a boss channel point reward. Ding. Then my ace is fairly good for now, then I just save up, I think. I probably good for a long time it's a visual bug <laughs> I, I feel like nothing gets past his or in I, I think it, I think the quote should would probably be from my perspective nothing gets past from my perspective or my monkeys but you know that's more legendary than it's a visual bug <laughs> what currency are you using in Canada cad lich Oh, you gotta be shitting me. You're fucking... You gotta be shitting me. She's greater than mend. Sorry, no sorry. Uh... There's no way I pop this, right? I, I, I 
Now, okay. And, well, on to attempt 10. Attempt 10 didn't last long. They redeemed leads the moment I started. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna die anyway. Yes, Yoshi. Huge brain. Attempt 11 was even shorter, because once again, the redeemed leads. Attempt 12, another monkey metal start. Instead of Adora, I switched to Etienne. This was because at level 8, Etienne gave all your towers camo detection, stopping the need for any villages or towers placed just to pop camos. And like usual, monkey metals came and went. My second map though, X Factor. A supposed advanced map, but many people think it has no place being anywhere but expert. Me included. Really? Fucking X Factor? <laughs> What a scratch. Fucking X Factor. Unbelievable. Okay. Why no notice for new followers? Because I haven't been actually getting any new followers. Um, and also because I have them disabled. <laughs> to remove send camels. Yeah, I'll do it later. <laughs> Good map. L, L, L map. This is an L map. Yeah, I probably do need a therapist. After this shit? <laughs> After this fucking challenge? <laughs> Fuck X Factor, man. Is it gonna be like small brain man or skill issue? I think you need sub. Six when I'm going mentally insane. Bean, there's no sub lead! There's no water! <laughs> there's no water! <laughs> that would help you. I'm able to pass it with only a few lives lost, and it brings me to Peninsula, another advanced map, but certainly easier than X Factor. I beat it without much problems, then onto Flooded Valley, an expert map where half of the map is covered in water, and the other half is unable to reach any of the balloons that get sent along the dam. A strategic cell lets me buy a pilot. This game! is just preying on my mental health. Th this game is just, Subs are good no matter what subs, YouTube uh, uh, subs, YouTube subs, Twitch subs, balloon subs. <laughs> Steven is a very nice guy. <laughs> preying on your mental health. But Steven's not a great friend of mine. Thank you very much for supporting the great cause of allowing me to do dumb challenges for longer. And with that, I was able to move on to Midnight Mansion, another advanced map! This time, the gimmick is that each round, these flames switch places. The flames are obstacles which towers can't shoot past, but using the heli pilot at Bottom Flood Valley, I was fine. Uh, where did I even place the fucking heli, dude? I, I can't- Where- where- here. Maybe- <laughs> my- No. What the hell, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. I mean, if anyone else wants to drop a sub, it would be pretty pog. <laughs> so, Mendev, the fuck is that name anyways? What's your problem? <laughs> okay, I'm sure, my, I'm, sure, I'm sure my therapist would be like, So, Mendev, what the fuck's up with your name? And next, to my surprise, was Park Pat, a very easy beginner map, which I passed without any issue. Then, of course, the luck didn't last long. I had gotten Muddy Puddles, another expert map. Oh, okay, actually, this is this is not Bloody Puddles, so we're actually kind of fine. <laughs> actually kind of fine here. Mending. All right, subs and Etienne got this camel round. Let's go! All right. Now all the maps you go on to. Shit, 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 shit! Good dart monkey. Panic dart monkey! Panic dart monkey works! Teacher, Mr. Meth Teacher. Forgot. I forgot YT tutorial excuses. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, Okay, your problem is you're hating this challenge you made yourself. Can you take some time off and have some time to rest? No, because the moment I end stream, I'm working on the next video. I did leak quite a bit, but a very quick crossbow allowed me to move past the map. And of course, Midnight Mansion again. Hey. <laughs> But, you know, having fun otherwise. W clutch, right? The Wist of clutches. Okay. Okay, okay. I play a little bit of balloons while I work. Oh man, it would it would it would save adding one? 
Oh shit, bro. Fuck, my code is terrible. Please, please pop it. Please pop it. Please pop it. Please pop it. Fortunately, I only leaked four lives this time. Cory, which I beat without much trouble. Then came Bloody Puddles. Along with Outjam Ravine, one of the most difficult maps in the entire game. Each round, balloons move in two lanes and alternate each round. But I'd gotten this far. I was sure I could beat this. Considering the bad RNG I had before, this was nothing. I wasn't gonna let this beat me. To my own mod, to my own expansion mod, but I mean, it's my own expansion mod. So I'll add a Mend Monkey to it, probably. Did you get a Blaze Rod in the end? No, I rage quit. I rage quit. Lock in place. No, no, no. Follow mouse. Follow mouse. No! Why didn't I get a sniper? No, I wasn't beaten by the map. I was beaten by myself. I had gotten to round 46. I had 13,000 cash and I completely threw it. I was in disbelief. I felt like giving up, but I knew I couldn't. Another monkey metal start because no way am I gonna start on bloody puddles. Lotus Island, while it is a beginner map, it's not great because of my dart monkey and Etienne position, but in A, still to get me to the next map. No, this is, this is just terrible. There we go. How? So it goes win. <laughs> and it did. We're now on end of the road, which went by fairly easy, bringing us to Candy Falls. The first four maps in this attempt, all beginner. Clearly, fate was weighed in my favor this time. Unlike the last attempt with so many difficult maps back to back, this had to be the run, right? <laughs> my desk is going to be broken if that happens. Sub. But I want the never miss targeting. But I, I, I want the never miss targeting. The never miss targeting would be kind of pog. This, this challenge is draining my mental. <laughs> Predict your die before round 40. No sub first, but water. Mend is it safe to mix Red Bull and 30% alcohol free vodka. First agree with hell. Map 5, Ravine. But this time, I was going to prevail. I was going to win over this godforsaken map. I did not mean to send it. Wait, no, I sent the next four rounds. I accidentally used my hockeys. <laughs> just kidding. See, for channel points, I actually just have them set up to hotkeys. So when someone redeems one, I press a button on my keyboard so that it happens in game. This was because I was lazy and didn't want to have to set it up so it's automatic. And well, one butterfinger press later and the hammer of fate falls down on me, once again, crushing my dreams. The closest I had gotten was round 56, my very first attempt. And I was losing my confidence in my ability to beat this challenge. Monkey Meadow, easy. Logs, easy. Town Center, easy. Things were looking up. I was feeling it. But then I got cargo per minute. So it's around 300. <laughs> no. <laughs> you think I got that kind of money? What is this stream involved into? It's a very good question. <laughs> Yoshi, you think I got that kind of money? <laughs> Ooh, that's not fun. That's not fun. At the ability. Then I got cargo again. Please, good map. Cut. <laughs> Okay, fuck you, game. <laughs> Alright, game, fuck you. <laughs> May I suggest you getting elk and uh, an elk next to you never miss? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. But I need camo. Shit, that's why I shouldn't have sold Etienne. Right. Oh, well. I managed to move past it with some difficulty, lost quite a bit of lives, but it was back to another easy map, Blue Narius Prime, which I didn't have to worry about in the slightest, because chat reassured me, Never Miss Ace is one of the best towers in the game. What is happening? There's like... Oh. Yeah, cool stuff. Anyway, is this in range? No, that, I don't think... Is this in range? I don't think that's in range, so I'm gonna place it later. Alright, just find these rounds. Oh, I don't have lead! Though. Jesus Christ. Uh, I still need lead popping power. Was it rage? Oh, shit, was it? Let's give that theory a test. <gasps> it is in range! 
If you don't pay the therapist, do they give you a trauma? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I do need help. I'm not gonna say pizza three times. <laughs> now camo. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Now camo. And it was. It was so good, in fact, that my game crashed. You gonna load game? Should get used to upgrade of radar scanner. Did it crash? It might have crashed. Oh no. Yeah, well, time to restart the game. But I quickly reopened the game and immediately continued. I felt it. This had to be the run. Lost some lives to camo, but still alive and that's all that matters. Scrapyard, back to super easy maps. Global camo. I? Holy shit, I can't place it up here. Fuck it! Actually, wait, should I? Do I Do I want to? Am I able to place it? I want to place it in, in, in the, in the, in the village range, in the alchemist range, too. I'm just kidding. Out to the end. Also, what do you mean waste? It makes them stronger. Stuff on boxes. Oh, wait, there's more camos? I didn't know that. Oh, shit. I forgot there were more camos. No sub. No sub. You can sell it after round 40. You don't know... How do I... I do not know this. Death by camos. Use the crusher thing. Fuck, I shoulda! Five things to improve at BTD6. Alright, calm down. Calm down. Okay, calm down. Oh, fuck. Shit. Fuck, I almost died. <laughs> Getting really close to death here. Getting really close to death here. I'm gonna be honest, I forgot- I, For some reason, my brain just, like, didn't think there were any more camels between 33 and 40. So I kept selling the ninja. Which... As it turns out, was pretty dumb. Here's of balloons and this is still jaw-dropping to watch. <laughs> I did mess up and lose some lives, but six is more than zero, and I didn't care. I had my eyes on the prize this time. Quick Street, an intermediate map, but still one of the easier maps in the game. It's a cool thing to watch the best balloons player ever. Wouldn't it be better just to get... I mean, it almost has full uptime on it, so should I just get a four? Should I just, should I just get stronger stim? 4 2 oh? is it is it that better? I feel like that's better. Okay, now comes the part where I save money. I think. I think. Hopefully. Maybe. Or is, is this just enough for all leads? Is acid mixture dip enough for all leads? Have confidence? Yes! God, it's that, that's what I'm missing! That's what I'm missing. I'm missing the confidence. The confidence of a number one player. Back to Blunarius Prime. It couldn't hold a candle to my never miss ace. End of the road? Easy. I even bought a second Never Miss Ace, doubling my damage output. It's for 63. To downgrade on them, those dents. It's for 63. Alright. What do you think about my setup now? Kinda big brain! Kinda big brain right here! <laughs> Although, if I lose, I'm gonna cry. Stream bed? Easy. Shoots? Easy. Cracked? Easy. Haunted? Easy. Now was on to the final map. This was the furthest I had gotten since my first attempt. Round 76. This is the final map that would determine it all. Even with my setup, I was still doubting if I could beat some of the harder maps. And here it was. Sanctuary. Another expert map. Of course. Of course I would get an expert map as my final map. It was easy. So easy up until this point. Just beginner and intermediate maps. And, well, this brings us to the point in the intro. With my flying monkeys, my submarine on land, and 6 plus 25 lives at round 76. It- OBS- Okay, I know what happened. OBS showed I was muted. And then, it wasn't muted, so when I clicked it, it showed I wasn't muted. But I was muted, so, okay. So yeah, family member locked out, but, you know, whatever. It's up to end this run on Private D Survive. Yeah, I gotta go. Alright, come and doge. See you later. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Hope the stream was fun. Private D Survive. Yeah. Myself.
1200 rome spikes jesus okay it's proof for safety hey watch you beat this i have 1 a.m and then you can wake up at 6 a.m love late streams god damn go to sleep Cairo. go to sleep <laughs> Go to sleep, my man. <laughs> all right, upgrade the sub. All right, all right, I'll upgrade it. I'm gonna upgrade it to ballistic missile, though. It's gonna be because the power of the sub. Exactly. I think one of him is bad. Try one fifteen. One bad. There's like, there's like. Whenever you guys send a message, there's like a fifty percent chance I'm gonna regret reading it. Shut up! I can't sleep until you're a win. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Imagine I lose right here. Imagine. How 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 funny would that be? Actually, I would probably lose it. <laughs> I would probably lose it. With Yoshi. No, no. Pay monkey money. No, no, no. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. Try 101. <laughs> that might be impossible. Okay, guys, guys, I'm thinking, I'm, okay, here's my, you want to know my idea for, an, like, easy is super easy, right? But you want to know my idea for an, a mode that's easier than easy? Poppable. Get it? Because it's, like, the opposite of, 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 it, probably a bad way to end it, but the game's about to crash, yeah. Fun fact, whenever you beat it, the game crashes, because it doesn't know how to handle it. But, we beat the ZOMG! We beat the ZMG. Give yourself a pat on the back, everyone. You guys, you know, this is sort of like our victory, you know? Twitch chat along with Mend. <laughs> you were here to carry Mend through this challenge and when I upload it onto YouTube, which I will be doing hopefully soon this week, you'll be able to look in the chat and see you were here. And everyone else who wasn't here, they can just cope because they weren't here. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, twitch.tv slash mendev, please watch me. Please watch me. I want more viewers. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe. And, uh, well, I'm probably not going to record my outro on stream because I don't like recording them on stream. I just like recording them when I can redo them over. But, you know, that's right. Not only did I beat it, I fucking smashed it. Thanks for watching. If you thought this is cool, you should subscribe here on YouTube and check me out on Twitch. Anyway, that's all I have for today. See you guys later.